He did, though, learn a lesson, which was to hang on to those royalty rights of his other inventions, including what he says was his biggest seller, the mini 4x4 replicas known as Stompers. But it was when we sat down to play a game of Kerplunk, which he also invented, that Eddie admitted something. Uh, I invented so many games, I never played them. I think people would be very surprised to hear that because it would seem like you must have been sort of like a Willy Wonka, like very childlike and, and playing the games all the time. You're saying no, that wasn't the case? No, I was too busy inventing them. Eddie first cut his teeth in the toy industry, quite literally, with an invention you're probably familiar with. This is what it does. Yes, Eddie Goldfarb invented those wind-up, chattering teeth, which are technically called yakety yak. I mean, could you have ever imagined this would be something that no, defined your life? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Despite the millions of sets of teeth that have been sold over the years, Eddie made just $900 when he sold the rights to them back in 1949. But he's not mad, he says. He got something valuable with the money. I needed an overcoat. <laughs> it, was, it was really cold in Chicago. 